हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हरिवीर सिंह एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम फ्रॉम न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ सो इट स्टार्ट विथ न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ फॉर ट्रांसलेशन समेशन ऑफ फोर्सेस इज इक्वल्स टू मास इन टू एक्सेलरेशन एंड फ्रॉम द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कानोमेटिक्स वी हैव टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन एक्चुअली एक्सेलरेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज मास डीवी over dt at the same time acceleration can also be written as equals to mass v dv over ds now from there these two equations are coming simple concept of kinematics is there as you know velocity is defined as ds by dt rate of time rate of change of displacement acceleration is defined as time rate of change of velocity if we want to plug these two what we need to do let us multiply this equation by ds over ds so now look at this part it is ds over dt ds over dt that is defined as v so we will write a is equals to v dv over ds so this is the part which we are going to use here mass into acceleration instead of acceleration we are writing v dv over ds now this equation will be now net forces times ds is equals to mass velocity dv so in order to find it for rigid body just integrate this so this term will become now displacement is from initial displacement to final displacement and we are assuming initial displacement somewhat zero final displacement somewhat s and this part mass into velocity that is initial velocity is equals to u and final velocity we are assuming as v so if we integrate this so this delta f this sigma f times ds terms it will become actually this part will become net work done which is equal to this part will become actually mass is constant can be taken out of integration v square by 2 that is from u to v so if we put the value over here we'll get half m v square minus half m u square now if you check this so you will get net work done is equals to kinetic energy final that is half mv square minus kinetic energy initial that is half mu square so basically net work done now net work done is equals to delta ke change in kinetic energy so if we can find net work done on the body we can always determine change in kinetic energy both the terms are equal now to understand this concept we'll take up one problem ask in gate and we'll discuss that problem on the basis of work energy principle this principle is known as work energy principle a body of mass m that is 10 kg is initially stationary on a 45 degree inclined plane as shown in figure the coefficient of dynamic friction between the body and the plane is 0.5 the velocity slides down the plane and attains a velocity of 20 meter per second now the distance traveled in meter by the body along the plane is to be determined so for that what we need to do we have to start with the free body diagram so that we can easily calculate the work done so here this body is m and resolving forces 
along the inclined plane resolving forces perpendicular to the plane will get some values now what are the forces acting on this one is that normal reaction acting perpendicular to the plane so we are mentioning normal reaction over here now weight of the body will act vertically downward so we can easily take component of that suppose if this angle is theta this angle is theta because if you see the geometry this angle is 90 this angle is 90 minus theta and this angle is theta that is the reason that weight component will write m g cos theta and in this direction we will write m g sin theta now normal reaction is over weight is over one more force is there that is frictional force so that will act up the plane in this direction we have to mention that u times normal reaction also so in this case summation of forces along y direction is zero so you'll get plus n minus mg cos theta is equals to zero that is n is equals to mg cos theta now this n is required for calculating this frictional force that is mu n now we our objective is to calculate net work done on the body so net work done how do we calculate net work done we have to calculate with the help of forces into perpendicular forces into distance now mg sin theta is acting down the plane the block is also displacing along the plane down the plane and let us assume that final displacement is along the plane is s so that is mg sin theta multiplied by displacement and i'll put it with positive side reason the force and the displacement both are along same direction that is the reason mg this is positive mg sin theta into displacement now second force is this mu n now see on the body mu n is acting up the plane but displacement is down the plane that is the reason this force should be negative force so it is minus now mu times mg cos theta n value is mg cos theta this is only the force multiply by displacement so that is the part work done obtained by mg sin theta and frictional force now there are two other forces one is this normal reaction and mg cos theta component of weight perpendicular to the plane now as you see block is not getting any displacement along y direction that is the reason there will be no work done by this normal reaction and this mg cos theta because block is not having any displacement along y direction in the direction of application of normal reaction and mg cos theta so work done due to these two forces will be zero so ultimately this is our net work done now this net work done it should be equals to delta k that is change in kinetic energy so kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial so final kinetic energy we can write half m final velocity is given as 20 20 square minus initial kinetic energy half m and that was given as zero so this part is zero now by our work energy principle net work done is equals to delta k if we put this value we we'll get mg sin theta multiplied by s minus mu mg cos theta multiplied by s this is net work done it should be equals to delta k that is half m 20 square to solve this m will get cancelled from the equation now putting the values we can easily determine the value of s s we can find as that 400 by 2 that is 200 divide by here we can write g that is 9.81 multiply by sin theta is nothing but sin 45 minus mu is 0.5 cos 45 so s we are getting our answer as s is equals to 57.64 meter so that is the way to apply work energy theorem in the problem of that newton's second law problems Thank you.